Well, I better get going. Should I just put that on your tab? So that's what that noise means. But just take your stupid money. Huh? Hey. Ooh. Here's a roll of film I never developed. Well, too late for that. All those photo developer joints are either knocked down or have been turned into deer blinds. Eh, yeah, listen, Homer, uh, I can develop this for you. Yeah, this bar is so poorly lit, it's legally a dark room. Yeah, here you go, Midge. And I know if I don't, I go out. You shot all these pictures. Why didn't you step in? The light was so good, Marge. Story of a special bond between a brother and a sister. I'd say our story is a tragedy, like the Planet of the Apes. Wherever we went, you kids fought. Penny the Penguin wanted to go to the North Pole. It's not funny. You know what's funny? This! Ugh. Good night, Moon. Good night, Bart! Oh. And stay out! Thank you. Why can't you just relax and be nice to your sister? My bed scares me. That's ridiculous. She took my pencil! Lisa, there are plenty of mini golf pencils in the kitchen drawer. A. Ow! E. Ow! I. Ow! O. Homer, Homer, I just had the worst dream. Now don't worry, they're right here in the bed. Find some answers. Professionally, I'm not permitted to say which is which. Is it the boy? I told you I can't say. What are we going to do? It's not so bad, sweetie. I took a box of Altoids from her waiting room. Hey, neighborino. Oh. Maud and I know how hard it is to be dealt a pair of little jokers. Mature conversation rooney, so we'd like to take you to brunch. Brunch, I wish. Can't get a sitter because our kids are nuts. And no kennel will. It just turned a hundred. Eight bucks an hour. I can't hear you. I said seven bucks. I don't know any prayers. Is Hell's Bells a prayer? Because Daddy says it all the time. <sighs> I never said this before, but the food can wait. What do you mean? Let's role play. Well, isn't this a great chance to drink more water? My bladder's going to burst. Another reason for what we're doing. You're never that happy when we're around. That was wonderful. My favorite kind of weekend morning. Bart, those are strangers. You're right. Let's go where it's safe. Watch it. Your brother is stupid. Bye-bye. The wheel I'm inside goes round and round. Thank you for a wonderful brunch. Ah! Grandma Flanders has passed. Where are our kids? Gone. Ah. Well, well, look who's burning plastic. Ah. Don't hurt my brother. Aw, oh, come on. Don't cry. This is why I am so nervous about becoming a dad. <laughs> Baby. All right, let's move. Why aren't you crying? I was pretending, and it worked. I sure hope this book is right. Marge, I'm back. Sorry, nothing. All right, I'm turning to a desperate mother's last resort. <sighs> I'll never see my kids again. I'm sensing. It's all your husband's fault. That'll be twenty dollars. Wanna pinch him? Teach me how to use my phone. Stay away from my grandchildren, you love sucking ghouls. You have some candy while I tell the nurses station to go get your folks. Okay, listen up, you childless losers. I need you to help me find my kids. Any of these them? Mm. Can you help us? I'll tell my dad about you right now! Dad! 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 Cartoon! I'm scared, Bart! Once I read a book called Jack and Jill, they went down a hill... And broke their crown! Ta-da! 
I saved you. Uh, but you pushed me. Uh, Can't you see I'm giving in? I beat a two-year-old. I beat a two-year-old. There's a couple of kids right there at the top of the tire fire. <gasps> How did you get up there? You did it, homie! Ah! Ice cream truck! Bart, haven't you learned anything? I'm still learning our phone number. And I've almost got it. Isn't that sweet? Six years ago they were fighting. Now they're playing pool in a bar. Father of the year. 1796. A fiercely determined band of pioneers leaves Maryland after misinterpreting a passage in the Bible. Yeah, the monster! It's a horrible fiend! It's some sort of land cow! Stand back, fellow settler! Uh, oh. You've saved! To celebrate our bicentennial, all 20 of you will write an essay about Jebediah Springfield, and the best 18 will be put on file in the school library. How about Town Crier? You'd be great at that. You think so? Well, yeah, Dad. You're a big, fat, loud mouth, and you can walk with... My chicory. I'm the curator, Hollis Hurlbut. Hi, I'm Lisa Simpson. I'm here to research a report on Jebediah. Congratulations, Ned. You are our new town. Day! You saw diddly yuck, Flanders. Give me that. Hear ye, hear ye. Ye old town crier proclaimed crappy... Making my job and... Let's chat. More hat. <laughs> Woohoo! Hear ye, hear ye. The Homer Broadcasting System is... A Objects owned and used by Jebediah. Here's his fife, upon which he sounded the sweet note of freedom. His hatchet, with which he hacked at the chain. <gasps> the secret confessions of Jebediah Springfield? Secondly, I have not always been known as Jebediah Springfield. Until 1796, I was Hans Sprungfeld. Oh my god, our town hero is a fraud. I write this confession so that my... Here's Johnny Cakes. Is everything okay? You look a bit flushed. Oh, it's just the excitement of studying. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. What's for breakfast? Toast. I don't understand thee, Mars. Look, Jebediah was really a vicious pirate named Hans Sprungfeld. His tongue was bitten off by a Turk in a grog. He had a prosthetic tongue made out of silver. Yes. He even tried to kill George Washington. The dastard! Give me all your money. Next time Hans Sprungfeld was seen, he had changed his name to... Because everyone knows Jebediah Springfield was a true American hero. End of story. Ralph A. Janie A. And Lisa, for your <clears throat> essay, Jebediah Springfield Super Frog. Lisa? Miss Hoover thought I made the whole thing up. She called me a PC. We could go get that confession out of Jebediah's fife. We could? Come on, we can use the baseball bat to smash open the case. No baseball bat. No. <gasps> what the? That's Jebediah's secret confession. It proves he was a fraud. I think, Lisa, that you've been taken in by an obvious forgery. Unfortunately, historical research is played. Get out! You're banned from this historical society. You and your children and your children's children. I'm not going to give up. I refuse to believe that everyone refuses on Canary, Canary. 25 on Saffron, mm -hmm. and 25 on Paella. Okay. Hi, Apu. Can I... As a semi-legal immigrant, your poster could lend me in a predicament as red-hot as the candies which bear that name. We hear ye! My daughter has something to tell you about Jebediah... Jebediah Springfield was nothing more than an evil, bloodthirsty pirate who hated this town. Evil, bloodthirsty pirate. Hello, town jubilation committee? Yeah, I got something that's gonna make you a lot less jubilant. You are tampering with forces you can't understand. We have major corporations sponsoring this event. I hope you know you're sponsoring a celebration for a mer... ...of our bicentennial. There is one way. Get the silver tongue. If Jebediah is who I say he is, then it should... Dig up his grave! Pull out his tongue! Can't we have one meeting that doesn't end with us digging up a corpse? Now, Lisa, when you see there's no silver tongue in there, 
Will you stop trying to ruin Jebediah's reputation? Yes. Let's start looking for that silver tongue. Don't forget to look in his shoes. When I lose something, sometimes it turns up in my shoes. Actually, if it's anywhere, it would be lodged in the sand. Well, that settles that. There is no silver tongue. Is there, Bonesy? Oh, I wish, Chief. With that kind of dough, I could buy me some eyeballs. Not so fast, Simpson. This foul business was all your fault. By the power vested in me, I hereby strip you of... Oh, Dad, I'm really sorry. I know how much you wanted to be in the parade. Oh, it's not your fault, honey. Why did you dig up the bones? General Washington? You did some good work exposing Jebediah, Lisa. Don't stop now. There's just one piece... Oh, let me help you, George Washington. I still want to help you. I want to help you, George Washington. Even your dreams are square. The missing piece of the puzzle. I've got it! Pirate ships and fisticuffs and a silver tongue that can't be found. That's because you stole it! That's a lie! I'm an antiquarian, damn it! Stop it! Where's the silver tongue? I pried open the coffin. It was there. That shiny tongue sticking out of his mouth, razzing my entire career, my... Sprungfeld must have taken it with him when he ran off after the fight. Exactly. This celebration is... Stop! Stop everything! Stop the... I did a lot of research on Jebediah Springfield and... Uh, I think I can pick her off. Wait, let's see what she has to say. Well, I'd like to, ma'am, but he's too damn good. Our Lord, Buddha, says the secret of existence is to pass beyond fear. My brother is about to meet fear, and as usual, he won't pass. Last day of school, found my summer hobby, banging hots together. Goodbye forever, multiplication! No fireworks! Can't this stupid city entertain me one night a year? The city's broke. The July is the one day a year when our city puts on her high heels and tube top and leans into America's car window. <clears throat> oh, no fair. He actually has three legs. You lay off my son, Tripod. He won fair and square. Once more and hurl. <laughs> ah, we will do this until we get it right. <laughs> Look, do you want this to be your last school memory? Play-Doh that comes out the back. See you next June, Macaroni. And now, the climactic race around the school. Previous winners include Sideshow Mel, Senora Bumblebee Man, and Olympian Edwin Moses. Secret is, I've been training for this race and no one suspects. Check it out. I'm wearing a dummy tummy. <laughs> <laughs> on Bart Simpson. Two on us to win. Twenty on Milhouse. We can handle your action. Betting is now closed. Gun in the score! What the? <sighs> just, just go. And they're off. Lewis is in the lead, followed by Lovejoy's daughter, Fat Tony's nephew, Brockman's little girl, and Jailbird's kid. What's this? Millhouse takes the lead. Uh-oh. If Millhouse wins this race, we're out of fortune. I mean, it's so obvious. Just punch him. Exactly. Right in the... Mm. What does he have to jump over? Nothing. That's what. I'm out of here. Good job, that one. Did you come to give me a cup of water? <laughs> Bart faced a terrible choice. Take a beating with his friend, or slither off like a coward. The winner is Bart Simpson. 
As the pin on the back of the blue ribbon made its way through Bart's shirt and into its housing, the seeds of his comeuppance flew out of the woods. I'm afraid I don't remember. Phew! Why am I having nightmares? I'm no coward. Ah! Chicken feather, why would you hand this to me? Bart, if this stupid one reactor town won't put on a fireworks show, I will. Uh, I've had my problems with sparklers. Fun, 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 fun. Ah! It was the one night of every year that he couldn't hear his parents argue. He figured it was because they loved the fireworks just as much as he did. With his mom gone, Homer needed a hero. And no one was a bigger hero than the magical little man behind the controls. Giuseppe, I want you to come out of retirement for the greatest fireworks show of your career. If the Expendables movies have taught us anything, it's that people do their best work after they're old and forgotten. Well, I am younger than Sylvester Stallone. I will do it. I brought you a cake. Read it. That's an odd message. Friends help friends in trouble. No, turn it off. It's too intense for me. Some guys just can't handle crocodiles. Mm. Ugh. Hey, this gunpowder, it has a crystal of meth in it. Crystal meth? Then what the heck did I sell to them Colombian drug law? But we will get the fireworks someplace else. The pig's been eating the C4 blocks again. <laughs> Hey everyone, I sure got a lot of attention for winning this year's race around the school. What's going on? Seriously, what, what's transpiring? I've got to set things straight. During that same race, my friend Milhouse was in the lead when something horrible happened. Rather than try to figure out what happened, Milhouse had the courage to move on. To me, that's a hero. Crotch <laughs> or forehead? Uh, forehead for once. What? <laughs> Bart Simpson! You ran away when I was getting beat up! <laughs> Bart's a coward! He lied to us! Yeah. Yeah. Look how he runs now! So Bart was revealed as a coward. Grandpa, everyone's calling me a coward. Come on, you were in World War II. Do you know how I survived D-Day? Don't worry, just a day at the beach. I'll be back around 1946! After Korea, I was drowning in boobies. Wow, that sounds pretty sweet. Well, there is a price. Do you wake up sweating in the middle of the night? <gasps> I understand. You have standards. While Bart was in hell, Homer was happily surrounded by fire and brimstone. Okay, let's make some fireworks. Oh, thank God, a rickety bridge. Can I pitch something? Go ahead. Boom, bada boom, 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 bada boom, boom, bada boom, boom, boom. That's a nice. Oh, yeah, you got it, Yoink. Ho, ho. We're on it, ma'am. Okay, coarse gunpowder. Get the ball in there. Don't forget the wadding. Tamp, tamp, tamp. Oh, my boy's having a bad night. We should get this show on the road. Well, the time is not yet right. Come on, let's go. I can't stand to see my family unhappy on America's holiest day. I'm all right. No, you're wrong. July 2nd, I am quoting John Adams. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Millhouse, this is my chance to make things right. What are you up to now? Get on that bus. I'll explain during the explosions. Roger that. Did you factor in the wind? No. Sometimes when we touch. <laughs> so who is our hero? <gasps> <gasps>
Millhouse is the hero. Take it from me, the boy who's lied throughout. Millhouse! 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 Oh, I get it now. Millhouse, Thanks, Bart. Coward! Which coward, meant that, at long last, my brother could get a good night's sleep. Oh, enough doom and gloom! Thank you.